in this video, I'm going to run these two lights off of this single pole switch. Power is going to come into this light box here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is run a wire from the panel box into our light. This will give us power at the light box. Okay, this would go up into the panel box. Next, we need to run a wire from one light box to the other light box that connects the two lights together. And the last thing we need to do is run a wire from the first light box and drop it down into our switch box. Just kind of hold it in place again. When you're doing this for on a real project, you would have one staple within six, six inches of this box, one staple six inches of this box. This wire would bend over here. You'd have to staple it over to here so that it meets code. Okay, so. Strip some wires down in this switch box. It's getting a single pole switch. So I got my this, this white wire is going to become my switch leg. This one is going to be my hot wire, and of course I have my neutral. So with the neutral, just curve a loop onto it. The white wire, which is going to be my switch leg, I'm going to strip for three quarters of an inch. My hot wire, I switch, strip to three quarters of an inch. I put a loop on each end. Take my single pole switch. I like to attach the ground wire first, always putting the loop in the direction that I'm going to tighten the screw. Tighten it down good and tight so you don't get a, a short. Got two gold lugs. One is going to get the switch leg and the other one will get the hot wire. Now since it's a single pole switch it does not matter which wire gets what. Okay, we're going to go to the other light box. We just strip this. Strip the wire coating off. Cut off all the paper. You have two wires. One is going to be the switch leg. The white one is the neutral. And then you have your ground wire. Now, if you have a light that does not have a ground wire on it, such as a pull chain or a, uh, a lamp holder, then you would have to ground this. I would usually wrap it around when you start attaching. You could wrap it around the screw or something and then stuff the rest of it back into the box. 
This would go to the white to the silver, black to the gold, or black to black, white to white, depending on what type of light you're putting up there. Okay, now in this box, this wire is the switch leg going to my other light box. Make sure you don't cut into the white or the black coating. So be real careful when you strip your wires. This wire is my switch leg going to my switch box. So I cut, clean it off, get rid of the paper, fold it out of the way. This last wire is my hot wire coming from my panel box. Now this may not always come from a panel box, it may be coming from another outlet or another light, but it is the power, what they would call the power in. So I have power in to this box. Okay, now when you start cutting these in, I always do the ground wires first. All of the ground wires can go to the same place. They all go to the breaker bar or the, the bar in the panel box over here so that it doesn't matter if they're hooked together in any type of box. So I'm going to twist them good, like nice and tight. Since I only need one, I'm going to snip the other two off. I'm going to put a green, a green wire nut. Put a green wire nut on, tighten down the green wire nut. Set it aside. Okay, now we're going to go to the white wires. Now in this case, this is the neutral coming in. I also need neutral over to this light. I don't need neutral in the switch. So. The one that's going to the switch, I'm going to set aside. The other two neutral wire, white wires that are neutral wires, I'm going to hook them together. I'm going to strip them about six inches out of the box. Again, strip three quarters of an inch. You're going to put a loop. No, I'm not going to put a loop. Excuse me. Let's try that again. I'm just going to strip them. and put a red wire nut on them, okay? So that's the reason why you want to leave the extra wire out of the box. If you make a mistake, you can cut that off and you still have enough wire to work with. Once I've got them on nice and tight, you can see where they're wrapping and the, neither one will pull out. I stuff them up in the box. They're not needed. Okay, <clears throat> now, this one is my power. This one is the switch leg going over here. This one is the switch leg coming from the light box. So I have to get this power down into this light box. The only other wire I have that I can use is this one. Okay? So I've got to use, decide whether I'm, which one I'm going to use for the power. So I like to have the black as the power all the time. So I'm going to hook the power in to the black wire that's coming out of the box right here. So again, I'm going to snip them off approximately six inches from the edge of the box. I'm going to strip three quarters of an inch off each one. And then I'm going to wire nut them together. Okay, now I have these two wires, this wire is going over here, that's going to be my switch leg, okay? The white wire over here is connected to the white wire coming out of the panel box, which makes that a neutral wire. This wire 
coming down into this box right here. So what I'm doing is I'm sending power down on the black wire. It's coming here. When I turn on my switch, the power is going to jump to this white wire, which is this wire, which will turn on the light. So what I need to do to make this one turn on is I need to take it and I need to put it with this one. Now, I need to have one wire coming off. So I'm going to use what they call a pigtail. So I got a piece of wire. I'm going to strip it. And I'm going to attach it to these two using a red wire nut. Now, that makes this my switch leg. Okay? Now, what do I do with my powers? I stuck my powers in my box. I don't, or my neutrals, excuse me. I stuck my neutrals in my box. What do I do with this neutral? I need a neutral to turn on this light, okay? So, I'm going to use a pigtail on the neutral wires. Now, these two light will get hooked to my light. This is my neutral wire. This is my switch leg. This neutral wire is hooked to this neutral wire. This switch leg is hooked to this switch leg. So black to gold or black to black, white to silver or white to white on whatever light you're hanging. Same thing here, black to black, black to gold or white to silver white to white. If you have a fixture with a ground on it, then you would attach the ground wire. Black, these two black wires, they just get stuck into the box. Okay, so that's how you would run a single pole switch, power at the light box, that's running two different lights.